What it do, what it do, gang? What's going on, family? It's your boy Cook Sports in the building, man. And in this video, I want to address Kyle Shanahan, man. And and honestly, personally, even though we won that game last night, it's just I have a you know bad feeling that um Kyle Shanahan potentially you know ruined Trey Lance's career before it even started, man. Um, you talking about a kid, um. Uh, a, a dual threat quarterback you're you know continuously running um you know power up the middle power up the gut with him Kyle you've shown um that you and your dad you, you ruined RG3's career um in Washington um and it's clear that you just don't like mobile quarterbacks you don't know how to work with mobile quarterbacks and now I'm starting to feel like um you know him wanting Mac Jones uh, a couple of years ago in that draft was, was, was true. Uh, just because, um, you know, we couldn't get Stafford. We couldn't get Rogers. We, I feel like Kyle Shanahan kind of settled for Trey Lance and, uh, I feel like he doesn't want him. I feel like when Trey Lance gets back, uh, he, he should be wanting to be in a situation that wants him, uh, the, the, the players, uh, the locker room, clearly they, they rallied around Jimmy Moore. Um, I don't think, um, Kyle Shanahan handled this situation right at all, in my opinion. You um, you don't keep Jimmy Garoppolo when you uh, get a new quarterback. Uh, you you get a, a another veteran quarterback in there to you know kind of help mentor Jimmy Garoppolo, and, and so th that whole shadow and Jimmy over him, and I just feel like it wasn't a good situation for him. And honestly, I feel like like I said, I feel like Kyle Shanahan never wanted Trey Lance. As you can see, uh, they ruined RG3's career and possibly have ruined Trey Lance's career because you're talking about a kid uh, who was already coming his second year. He set his first year, so now he's going to have to sit another year. He's going to come back in uh, basically a contract year, and um, if Jimmy, you know, plays well, uh, they might end up, you know, giving Jimmy a contract extension. He might not ever get on the field, and you might not ever get to see his potential. So I think Trey... Um, just needs to be in a situation that wants him. You know, honestly, um, personally, I feel like he needs to be in a situation with a team that wants him and a team that's going to give him a chance. Because, um, you know, I feel like, like I said, Kyle Shanahan handled this situation just totally wrong, man, totally wrong, and then not having any type of remorse, not taking any accountability, any responsibility for getting the kid hurt. Like, you, you, you know, running him up the middle like he's, you know, like a fullback. And, you know, the kid, I know he's a big kid, but he's not, you know, on the on size of Josh Allen. Like, you know, he's only like two, 230, 235 at, at the most. You know, he can't take that type of punishment, man. And uh, you, you steady, you know, not utilizing him uh, to the his best strengths. How come when Jimmy Garoppolo comes in a game, you got all this play action stuff for him? You got all these bootlegs for him? You, you, you got all these different plays for Jimmy, but you can't run those plays for Trey Lance. Uh, it just makes no sense. And uh, like I said, man, I see what, what people saying about, you know, um, you know, you ruining uh, uh, RG3's career because um, I, I don't think you, know, you can work with mobile quarterbacks, Kyle Shanahan. Uh, I feel like your system is outdated. Uh, you, you blew uh, two, two Super Bowls and you ruined the career of a, a potential great in RG3. And now I feel like you potentially have ruined Trey Lance's career. Hopefully Trey Lance can bounce back from this and still develop. I think he still has a lot of potential. And um, I just, like I said, I just want to see Trey Lance in a situation that wants him, you know, to where he can succeed and where all the players are behind him 100%. Because this locker room is just, you know, I feel like it was split down the middle. It was guys who wanted Trey, guys who wanted Jimmy. Um, now, like I said, if, if like I said with Kyle Shanahan, if you knew he wasn't ready, then you, you shouldn't have did that. You shouldn't have gave up all, all those picks to get him if, if we were just going to end up with Jimmy to begin with. And so, uh, man, Kyle Shanahan, this is on you, man. This is on you. We don't get this Super Bowl with uh, Jimmy this year, um, and then then it's completely your fault. You completely botched it. You gave up three first round picks for a kid that you know we're we're not even gonna be able to see possibly. You know what I'm saying? Because about time he comes back, 
uh, who knows he will even, who knows that he'll even be the same type of player you know he's still young but he, he still has a chance to develop but it's just I feel like Kyle Shanahan you you potentially have ruined Trey Lance's career already in, and you have stunted his development just because you weren't open-minded enough to try to you know give this kid a chance or to, to try to do something different you know what I'm saying or try to work to his strengths you you weren't open-minded enough and you, you can't be honest enough to yourself about the situation and so Kyle Shanahan you're on the hot seat man I agree with what everybody was saying I don't care about us getting this victory. I don't care about us, oh, still being in the playoff final year. We're going to probably win 19 games, but we know where Jimmy Garoppolo can get us, and we've seen it. And so you sabotage Trey Lance's career just so you can uh, get Jimmy Garoppolo back out there and make sure you kept winning. And so I, I just, like I said, I don't like that. I don't like the uh, the way the way that looks at all. And um, I've, I've changed my whole opinion on Kyle Shanahan, man. I, I thought he was a great coach, but this is a scumbag move right here, in my opinion. You know, uh, Niner faithful, let me know how y'all feel about this situation. I, I don't like it, man. Um, but um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, man. Cook sports, man. Let's get it.